Imagine a city at sea, a floating ship with state-of-the-art technology and over 5,000 men and women working in perfect harmony. This is a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier, one of the most complex and powerful machines ever built. But what makes it truly remarkable isn't just its size or firepower, it's the set of rules that govern life aboard. Each crew member abides by a strict set of rules, some of which might surprise you. Imagine living for months on end with no sips of alcohol or refraining from intimate relationships while surrounded by thousands. Picture a place where even friendships are carefully regulated, all in the name of discipline and efficiency. Join us as we delve into the 20 extremely strict rules aboard U.S. Navy aircraft carriers, rules that help turn a ship of steel into a smoothly functioning city on the seas. Welcome aboard. Number 20, alcohol. On U.S. Navy carriers, there's a comprehensive zero alcohol policy. This total prohibition, although seemingly severe, is anchored in vital principles of safety, operational readiness, and crew well-being. Alcohol, as we know, can significantly impair judgment, coordination, and reaction time, all of which are critical faculties required for the high-stakes, high-pressure operations aboard a Navy aircraft carrier. In the unique closed environment of a ship, even a small lapse in judgment or coordination can lead to disastrous outcomes, be it a mishap on the flight deck, a malfunction in the engineering spaces, or conflict among crew members. In addition, alcohol can also have long-term health effects, which can compromise a sailor's fitness for duty over time. Furthermore, alcohol misuse can lead to disciplinary issues, affecting morale, and causing a ripple effect on the cohesion and efficiency of the entire crew. In light of these risks, the U.S. Navy enforces a strict zero-alcohol policy on carriers, ensuring that every member of the crew is always at their best, ready to fulfill their duties and maintain the operational readiness of the ship. This policy is not just about preventing alcohol-related incidents, it's about preserving the very integrity of naval operations. Number 19, Sexual Activity The rules are strict about personal relationships. This is important because aircraft carriers are like floating cities where hundreds of men and women live and work together for many months at a time. They work in close quarters, even sharing tight sleeping spaces. It's a unique situation that needs careful handling. While not entirely forbidden, there are specific rules limiting sexual activity on board U.S. Navy aircraft carriers. This policy is an integral part of maintaining a professional and respectful working environment within the confines of the ship. The rationale behind it is multifaceted. Firstly, it helps prevent any form of sexual harassment or misconduct, ensuring that all crew members feel safe and respected in their workplace. This is crucial in upholding the Navy's commitment to equal opportunity and non-discrimination. Secondly, it helps to avoid potential fraternization, inappropriate relationships between ranks that could undermine the chain of command disrupt the hierarchical structure, and erode discipline and order on the ship. Lastly, it's about maintaining focus. In the high-pressure, high-stakes environment of an aircraft carrier, distractions can be detrimental to operational efficiency and safety. Ensuring that personal relationships do not influence professional duties is paramount. In essence, these rules around sexual activities are not about curbing personal freedoms, but about maintaining an environment conducive to the successful fulfillment of the ship's mission, respecting every crew member's rights and dignity, and preserving the professional integrity of the Navy. Number 18, gambling. On a Navy ship, hundreds of people are working and living together for months. It's crucial that everyone gets along, but gambling can sometimes stir up trouble. It might lead to arguments over lost money or create hard feelings if someone keeps winning while others lose. These conflicts can harm the friendly atmosphere on the ship. Plus, it's not a secret that gambling can sometimes become a problem. People can get too caught up in it and end up losing too much money. This can cause stress and worries, which are not good for anyone, especially when you're in the middle of the sea, away from their families. Number 17, personal electronic devices. In our digital age, we're all attracted to our smartphones, laptops, and other gadgets. 
but on a carrier, use of these personal electronic devices is often restricted. Why? Well, it's all about security. These ships are involved in sensitive operations, and any leak of information could be dangerous. If someone's device gets hacked, it could expose important secrets. Also, these devices can distract crew members from their duties. Imagine if everyone was busy texting or browsing the web. It's crucial that everyone on the ship stays focused on their work. So while it might be tough to disconnect, this rule is essential for the safety and efficiency of the entire ship. Number 16, personal firearms. Crew members are not allowed to bring their personal firearms. This might seem surprising after all, isn't a military ship full of weapons? But there's a reason for this rule. First, it's about safety. With so many people living and working closely together, having a personal firearm could lead to accidents or conflicts. Secondly, it is about control. The ship's armory is very carefully managed. Only authorized personnel can access the weapons, and they are used strictly for defined missions. Allowing personal firearms could create unnecessary risks and complications. So while the crew members are highly trained in handling weapons, their personal firearms must stay on land. Number 15, fraternization, or improper relationships between officers and their subordinates is strictly forbidden on U.S. Navy aircraft carriers. This rule exists to protect the chain of command, which is crucial for the ship's operations. In the Navy, ranks matter a lot. Officers give orders and their subordinates follow them. This clear structure helps keep everything running smoothly. But if an officer and a subordinate were in a personal relationship, it could blur these lines. The subordinate might receive preferential treatment, or the officer might find it hard to give necessary orders. Fraternization can also lead to feelings of favoritism or resentment among other crew members. This could harm the team spirit that's so important on a ship. So to keep everything fair and organized, the Navy has strict rules against fraternization. Number 14, drugs. Like alcohol, the use of illegal drugs is strictly forbidden. This is enforced through random drug tests. Drugs can severely hamper a sailor's ability to perform their duties, making them a liability. It's about ensuring everyone's safety and that operations run smoothly. Number 13, smoking. Smoking rules are quite strict. Some ships may even be entirely smoke-free. The reasons behind these rules are about health, safety, and respect for others. Firstly, smoking is a health hazard. We all know that. Secondhand smoke can harm others, including those who choose not to smoke. So to protect everyone's health, smoking is usually restricted to designated areas, if allowed at all. Secondly, smoking poses a fire risk. On a ship packed with fuel, ammunition, and other flammable materials, even a tiny spark can lead to a major disaster. Number 12, dress code violations. Uniforms play a vital role in the military, including on a U.S. Navy ship. They represent the unity and professionalism of the crew and help maintain discipline and hierarchy. Therefore, any violations of the dress code are taken very seriously. The dress code covers everything from the correct uniform for different duties and events to personal grooming standards like hair length and cleanliness. Violating these rules can lead to disciplinary actions. These regulations ensure that everyone on the ship looks neat and professional, reflects their rank and role accurately, and upholds the prestige and traditions of the Navy. So while it might seem strict, the dress code is a crucial part of life on a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier. Number 11, unauthorized absence. An aircraft carrier operates like a well-oiled machine, and every crew member plays a crucial role in its functioning. Therefore, leaving the ship without permission or unauthorized absence is strictly prohibited. If a crew member is missing, it can disrupt operations, put extra burden on their teammates, and even compromise the ship's safety. Moreover, in the middle of the ocean, an unauthorized absence can put the individual at serious risk, too. The penalties for such an offense can be severe, including legal prosecution. It's about maintaining discipline, ensuring smooth operations, and protecting the safety of everyone on board. So while the freedom to come and go may be limited, this rule is critical for the unique environment. Number 10, no pets. Pets are not allowed on US Navy ships with the exception of working or service dogs under certain conditions. Pets could disrupt operations, cause damage, or pose a health risk. 
Number nine, no political activities. Political activities are strictly prohibited. This means crew members cannot engage in actions like distributing political literature or conducting heated political discussions. Why this rule? It's all about unity and focus. On a ship, maintaining harmony and teamwork is critical. Political discussions can sometimes lead to disagreements and divisions, which could harm this unity. Moreover, the focus should always be on the mission at hand. Number eight, no unauthorized business. It might seem tempting for crew members to run a personal business on board, like selling goods or services to their shipmates. However, this is strictly prohibited on a US Navy carrier. The main reason for this rule is to maintain order and fairness. If crew members start running their own businesses, it could lead to conflicts, distractions, and potential exploitation. For example, someone might start charging high prices for popular items, or disputes could arise over payments. Number seven, no unauthorized decorations. Living quarters are shared and space is limited. While crew members can have some personal items to make their bunks feel more like home, there are strict rules about what is permissible. Unauthorized decorations might include anything from posters and photographs to non-regulation bedding. These restrictions serve multiple purposes. Firstly, they're in place to maintain a professional and uniform environment, reinforcing the collective identity of the crew. Secondly, these rules help to keep the living quarters neat and orderly, which is crucial in such a confined space. And finally, unauthorized items could pose safety risks in a case of an emergency. Therefore, all decorations must comply with the ship's rules, ensuring that everyone has a safe, comfortable, and fair living environment. Number six, no flammable materials. For obvious safety reasons, flammable materials such as candles and incense are not allowed on board. The risk of a fire on a ship is too great to allow such items. Number five, no recordings without permission. Due to security considerations, making video or sound recordings without necessary permission is forbidden. This helps protect operational secrecy and security. Number four, no unauthorized food or drink storage. Generally, the crew members aren't allowed to store their food or drink outside designated eating areas. This helps maintain hygiene and order, reducing the risk of foodborne illnesses or pest infestations. Number three, no sleeping on watch. This rule is clear and strict, no sleeping on watch. The duty of the standing watch is a significant responsibility. Whether it's navigating the ship, operating complex machinery, or ensuring the security of the vessel, the watchstander's role is critical to the safety and success of the mission. Falling asleep during a watch compromises this safety and can have severe consequences. In fact, it's not only about the risk of missing potential threat or problem, it's also about trust. The crew depends on the watch standard to stay alert and to do their job so they can rest and recharge. The penalty for sleeping on watch can be severe, reflecting the seriousness of this rule. It's all about maintaining the safety, efficiency, and trust that are so critical on a US Navy aircraft carrier. Number two, no overt religious proselytizing. While freedom of religion is respected, overt proselytizing or actively attempting to convert others to a certain religion is generally not permitted. This rule ensures the respect of everyone's beliefs and helps maintain harmony aboard the ship. And at number one, no unauthorized uniform modifications. Unauthorized modifications to the prescribed uniform are not allowed. The uniform is a symbol of commitment, discipline, and unity. Any modifications can undermine these values and the professional appearance of the sailor. So now that you know the most strict rules aboard a US Navy aircraft carrier, which one surprised you the most? Was there something you didn't know before or did we miss one important rule? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and let us know. For those of you who have worked on a US Navy aircraft carrier before, how did you experience these rules? Do you think they were essential in maintaining safety and professionalism on board? Share your insights with us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and show your support for the men and women of the US Navy. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.